So this course is about investing ideas, trying to beat the market and growing your wealth. Now, if you want to invest safely, I suggest you do something different. For safe returns, you're better off not trying to beat the market. You're going to be better off participating in the market and shooting for nine or 10% annual returns. So here are my five steps for safe investing in stocks and bonds. First of all, pay off your debts and save some cash. So before you start investing, it's incredibly important to pay off any high interest debts, such as credit card debts or short term loans, because few investments will pay off as well as the savings that you'll make from getting rid of those high interest debts first. You should also save some cash and put it aside in a savings account. A good rule of thumb is to make sure you have enough cash saved up to cover six months without wages because that will ensure you can still get through any difficult periods of sudden unemployment or unexpected illness. So the second step is to take advantage of any existing 401k or pension plan that you may be eligible for from your employer. So such plans allow you to automatically invest a portion of your paycheck before taxes and then have your employer match those contributions. So this is essentially free money that you should take full advantage of. Savings in 401ks and other schemes will grow tax-free until retirement, giving you a nice nest egg once retirement comes around. So step three is to learn the basics. Understand the different investment types and the expected long-term returns of each one. So as you can see from the chart here, which goes back to 1802, the stock market has been the best place to put your money by a country mile and stocks are followed by bonds, then T-bills, gold, and then the dollar, which is your cash, which gets eroded in value by inflation. So ideally, you want to spread a good portion of your investments between stocks and bonds, and perhaps some real estate as well. But how much? Well, financial advisors recommend a simple allocation formula. Simply subtract your current age from 110 and get ready to invest that percentage in stocks and the rest in bonds. So a 30 year old would put 80% in stocks and 20% in bonds, since 110 minus 30 equals 80. But also note that as people live longer, some financial advisors are now using 120 instead of 110. Now, step four is crucial and that's to participate in the market. Don't try and beat it and don't try and time the tops and bottoms. So why do I say this? Well, take a look at this chart, which shows returns for the average investor, represented by the red bar, against various other assets over the last 20 years. So the average investor has returned just a little over 2% annually, whereas energy stocks have returned over 12% and the S&P 500 around 9%. So as you can see from this chart, the average investor represented by the red bar is extremely bad at investing. And there are many reasons for this, such as attempting to time the market, over trading, etc. So if you're looking for safe returns, you should avoid the temptation to try and beat the market. In fact, even professional fund managers have a hard time beating the indexes. As you can see from this table, 62% of professional mutual funds have failed to beat the S&P 1500 index over the last five years. So what to do? Well, there are two simple strategies for safe investing. Number one, if you have a lump sum, you should use a simple buy and hold strategy. Number two, if you want to invest regular amounts, such as a salary, you can use a simple dollar cost averaging DCA approach, where you simply invest regular amounts each month. If you invest regularly each month, market timing becomes a non-issue. When the market's down, like in 2008, you'll get loads more shares for your money, and when the market's up, you'll buy fewer shares. This all smooths out, making this an ideal way for investing your monthly salary. You just have to remember to keep on investing no matter what happens. So we know to invest using buy and hold or a DCA approach, but what are we going to be investing in? Well, again, there's a simple method, and that is to use low cost tracker funds. Tracker funds and ETFs such as SPY, VTI or VU track different stock market indexes at a very low cost. As a result, these are diversified investments 
that allow you to easily participate in the market at low risk. And there are loads of ETFs to choose from. So for example, if you're 30 years old, a very simple strategy would be to invest your 80% in VTI and then 20% in IEF, which is a bond ETF. Just that simple method will allow you to participate in the market. Just remember to keep your money invested even when the market drops. And if you're using DCA to carry on investing regularly each month, no matter what happens in the market. And these are my five steps for safe investing in stocks and bonds.